Hey everybody, welcome back to Landshark Garage. Jake, Dexter, me hanging out today. I had a buddy that was telling me about a problem he ran into and he needed a pry bar. He told me about this indexing pry bar that he used and how, how much easier it made it than, than using the old, you know, gooseneck pry bar that everybody's got or a jimmy bar or an ice bar you know if you're from the midwest you know what an ice bar is just a big long bar for chipping ice when you go ice fishing so i went ahead and picked up this guy it's a gear wrench expandable indexing pry bar and i think this is going to be a good addition to my tool collection the part number on this one is 82220 um, full lifetime warranty on <clears throat> the gear wrench this gear wrench indexing pry bar I think they make a shorter one and I'm pretty sure they make a longer one. You can see a lot of options and situations where this this would be very handy as I've been as I've been looking at it. So let's uh, get her out of the box and see what it looks like. Gear wrench makes a lot of good products. I don't know when they started making pry bars. I love all their wrenches. Stuff like that. So. Right out of the box. Nice, nice. looking tool. Knurled back here. It's got on the on the spines here it's got some traction i guess you could call it you know it's got some curves cutting it so that dig in a little bit when you're when you're prying on stuff i think i read in the specs it's like four and three quarters pounds four pounds 12 ounces so it's not not a real heavy deal to to expand it you push the button here and then it slides out and it'll slide out to 33 inches end to end and you, you can kind of see right along the spine you can kind of really put it right wherever you want to but the the fact that you're getting this that much more leverage without having to put a cheater pipe or something like that on it you know that makes it that makes a huge difference and it's compact when you i could store this in the front of a toolbox drawer and, and you wouldn't even you won't even notice it when you start looking at wrecking bars and stuff you know they all have got a certain bend to them the situation my my buddy used was trying to drop a 350 in, into the motor mounts and, and you get there and it's just you know just a little bit off but when you try and get a pry bar in there to work that it's just going in straight is, is not making the cut it be, just because of all the angles like when you use a a wrecking bar or you know the the, the angled bars and and so he he had this around and he said he just extended it out got the jobs where he wanted so he could go this way to drop this motor mount in as opposed to trying to go this way and it made it made a ton of sense and then you start thinking about all the other situations where you can use this a lot of different companies make these indexable pry bars you know what i mean so you push a button the head moves you can set it however you want to and and that is a game changer when you're starting to look at um having to pry on things where the old crowbar one side had an angle like this, the other side had a gooseneck, and you didn't uh, you didn't have a lot of options. Here's an example: my old Stanley Fat Max. Okay, you have this and this for prying, and if you can't get that where you want it, especially like in an engine compartment or on a transmission or when you're trying to move a rear end into spots, you don't you, you just have to figure out a way to do it or hope that this thing doesn't come off and clock you right in the head. Um, this this fat max got a lot of miles on it i've used it a lot this is going to look the same way before too long because this i know this is going to become my go-to pry bar um hell it even fits in my box there's even a spot for it look at that so anyway there's the old fat max might get retired i have a lot of pry bars and stuff the jimmy bars with the point on the end you know for lining stuff up but indexing side of this 14 different settings you can put it at so you can go from here all the way around. There's 14 different 14 different locks in there that help you figure out just where you need to have it when you're when you have to move something or adjust something or convince something that it needs to go where you want it to go. You know, so I think it's gonna be a nice tool. Like I said, the, the indexing side of it's great. You can pick these up, they retail about 69 bucks for this one when they're on sale. They're about $54.99, I think, is what I actually picked this one up for. Lifetime warranty, made by GearWrench, so it's reputable. Carlisle Hand Tools has one out similar to this. From That goes from, like, you, you can 
it, it isn't it doesn't expand that much let me re, rephrase that it's got just a small gooseneck on it and and you can it starts you can get one at eight inches and they go all the way up to like 48 inches but they're just solid handle there's no there's no adjusting it I've, I've seen this in the gear wrench and God, I think Matco might have one out like this too probably runs a little bit a little bit more than the the gear wrench brand does so 20 inches to 33 inches it uh it's got nice narrowing back here it's got a good coating on it it says to uh do not strike with a hammer or leverage with a pipe so I, i'm sure you guys will all follow that looks to me like it's got a little hole here in case it gets moisture in it it can drain out or if you just wanted to squirt you know a little lubricant in there it, it looks like it's got a little bit of lubricant on it but that might help that slide a little bit more you know you could you could put this in on what you're prying and then expand it out to get that get that leverage you need yeah i can see that this is going to be a handy tool once again gear wrench indexing pry bar i'm just adding to my collection if you like this stuff unboxing the tools and reviewing the tools having me do it <laughs> send me some tools i'll do it but as i look it over and started messing around with it this is a this is a cool tool it's it's going to go well in the old land shark tool collection that's for sure i can actually see that i'd probably be carrying that in my vehicle because as a firefighter it's got a spot there in the fire industry that's for sure because it's it's small and you can carry it like a halligan tool actually thanks for following our page we really appreciate it we're glad you're along never forget drive your shit What are you doing? Should we work on some cars? Should we work on some cars?